Flying Eagles boss coach Ladon Boto said they had a plan to defeat Argentina, and my word, they did shock the world. Can they now swap past South Korea in the quarterfinals? In this video, we'll tell you how they can get past the Asians. My name is Ayam Edishus, but this is The Nutmeg on Guardian TV. The celebrations within the squad should be over now. Ladon Boso has said defeating Argentina, who were the best team in the tournament at that point, was nothing. South Korea are the next opponent, and the Flying Eagles have good reasons to be wary of them. They defeated Ecuador in a five-goal thriller in the round of 16 and were always ahead of the South Americans, who were the highest scoring team in the group phase with 11 goals. South Korea are one of three teams who remain unbeaten in the tournament with, with two wins and two draws so far. The only other team remains the USA and Colombia. 20-year-old Seong Won Lee is the danger man for the Koreans with four goal contribution. That is one goal and three assists. These guys are a technical side with Pacey and Little forwards and Daniel Daga, who some already are tagging as the Nigerian Casimir will be crucial again for the Flying Eagles if they must advance to the last four. Salim Fago, Emmanuel Meh, Ibrahim Mohamed and Ali Rusaki all have to rise to the occasion again as goals will be crucial in this contest. Thank you for watching this video. Nobody else is previewing the Flying Eagles' this journey in the tournament like we do. So you should subscribe to this channel to continue getting previews like this one. You can also get the next episode easy peasy by tapping the notification bells so you don't have to go through the stress of searching for it. My name is Ayomide Shutbu and this is The Nutmeg on Guardian TV. See you next time.